Hey Big Iron Moto watchers, uh, welcome to another tips and tech video. As you can see from my recent injury, I uh, can't do much. So I thought it'd be a good time to do some organization, maybe bring to you a few videos in the process. So this video is about uh, Moto Toolboxes on the go. I really love this Boxo set that I won in a contest at the Motorcycle Show. Uh, it was a draw from motocamp.ca. And when I'm around the garage, this thing is perfect. It's got everything I need. It's very well organized. All the, the drawers are there. Everything that you need to work on a bike is right in front of you. But when I get out onto, uh, on the track, uh, especially if I'm just staging and I don't my whole trailer with me, um, I have a toolbox with everything I need in it. But the problem is organization. So you can see here, this is it. And this is just... Uh, it's a good enough toolbox. It's maybe like a $29 uh, on sale toolbox from, from uh, Canadian Tire. And I've got everything organized in here. But the problem is the, there's only so many compartments to it. It's only so big and it's not the best quality. So as I start pulling stuff out to work on a bike, not only can I not easily find tools, which I can in my box though set, but uh, when I go to put it all back together, every time I need anything, the whole thing gets pulled apart. So I want to have a much more efficient system where I can quickly go to exactly where I need. My wrenches are in a certain spot, my ratchet and sockets are in a certain spot, spark plugs, tire stuff, whatever I want is right at my fingertips without disrupting the whole box and spending time putting it all back together again. Especially when you're working out of your tailgate and it's just not the best place as it is. Parts can easily get lost and it's very hard to repack your toolbox. So what I've decided to do is invest in a little bit on um, a good toolbox, a good tool system. And as anyone who's in uh, construction knows, uh, Milwaukee has a really good system called the Packout System. I compared this to the DeWalt and a few other options as well, uh, like Husky and Craftsman. But the Packout, um, there's, it's really, there's no competition that this is uh, the system to get. Not only is it very high quality, but you also have uh, the ability to add on or pack in uh, more components. It's a modular system and you can keep adding to it. The first thought I had was to go with the three box rolling system, which is about 300 on sale, 350 at Home Depot here in Canada and you've got a top tool kit, a middle storage kit, and then a big storage kit at the bottom. But when I went and looked at it at Home Depot, I realized that that isn't ideal for Moto because it's a big box that is not gonna be easy to just throw in the back of my truck. And even if I put it in the back of my tailgate, um, I'm still gonna have to lie it down because it's, not, it's too large to just kind of sit up. So I wanted something a little sleeker um, and at some point I may be able to add on to it and add the wheel system for things like fluids or something. But right now I want something that held all my tools, um, held all the essential parts I needed and maybe a few other smaller parts to, small components to hold parts, smaller parts and bolts and things like that. So this is what I ended up getting. All right, so I'll say at the beginning that I'm not gonna go through all the features of these Milwaukee systems. There's a lot of videos out there talking about how great they are and how great the seals are and how durable they are and how the packet system works. That Go look at those videos for that. This video is, is trying to keep it within reasonable time constraints. It's more about how I'm packing out and setting up a new system for my moto box. So what I like about this is it comes with a uh, smaller container uh, up at the top here. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna put in here yet, but these little organizational trays are great. And the nice thing about the tray being on top and how it seals in this next one with removable uh, separators as well is when you close the device and you're just throwing it in your truck or whatever, parts and pieces and tools aren't going to go flying everywhere because it seals it in like that. Um, you see it's got a couple more of these, another one of these organizers down here and these little slide outs are really handy because you can, if you want to, for example, fit a uh, ratchet in there, you can take these out. Um, so that's the first component. We've got a nice uh, size right in the middle. Uh, I believe this is a 22 inch. Okay, let's go to the next component. The next component, as you can see here, is very similar. It's got a really nice handle on it, just like this one. 
Um, and this is going to be all storage components. And again, these slide out so you can customize them the way you want, uh, depending on the tool. So as I start to pack this in from my old toolbox, I'm going to be able to figure out which ones stay and which ones go. This one I was thinking up top here, I mean this would be perfect for a torque wrench, uh, wrenches that bigger tools, stuff like that, and you can just slide this in. And uh, like I said earlier, the nice thing about the pack out system is it packs together. So here you can see what happens is it slides in and it locks in. So now I can grab it from either one of these, if this was closed, and grab it from either one of these and carry it around, throw it in the back of my truck. And it's all kind of one unit together. All right, the next piece that I thought would be really helpful for a moto kit is um, a, a small or shallow, it's called a low profile compact organizer. And this is a shallower unit that would be really good for things like bolts. Um, you know, if you've got your, your spec kit and you want to throw a bunch of bolts in here, so open it up like so. There's another locking mechanism here. And um, this would be perfect for that. These all come out. There's more of these uh, separators to make it smaller or larger. And we'll see how that works out, but I'm, I'm very optimistic of how that all packs out as well. And here's our, last, here's our last one, which I thought is probably the coolest addition to it all. This is the Milwaukee Packout Ratchet Set. And I was surprised how inexpensive this was. For good tools, as we know, it costs a lot. And it certainly wasn't inexpensive, but for 115 Canadian, which comes with the case, uh, I thought it was a great deal. And this is a really nice ratchet system. Uh, not only is it high quality, uh, what you'd expect, but you've also got um, squared out uh, components at the end here. So if you need to get a wrench over those uh, to help in awkward positions or to really um, try and you know get some torque that you need. Um, and there they're all nicely listed. Uh, which is just so amazing when you're sitting there trying to find a 13, a 10. Here it is all right in front of you, perfectly organized, deep sockets, shallow sockets, universal joint, 19 mil up here, 19 mil up here, Ext two extensions, really nice ratchet, it's got a good weight to it. Um, yeah, and so all the sockets you can imagine, and you can buy it as a metric or SE, SAE kit or both, but I, you know, with dirt bikes, we don't need um, the American sizing, so it's great that they, they separate it that way. And that will become the final piece to what is the first edition, the low pro version of my Moto Kit. So there it is, check that out. How great is that to now throw in the back of a truck? All right, so here everything is now packed out, and I actually got to use this since I started the video so I'll have a few thoughts on that but this is the main box you can see right here and I can show you how I've packed it out um, you've got all your hand tools quick access tools right here and then under that you've got some nice storage units that I can throw some Loctite there's tape in that one um, miscellaneous stuff there's a rim lock some extra boot parts and here you've got things that you might want to grab quickly like um, a bolt tray, air filter, a bunch of um, uh, stubby wrenches, brake fluid, safety wire, all that sort of stuff, tension adjuster. Um, and then over on this side here, you got another handy little compartment, opens up, more stuff there. And down there, a bunch of spark plugs and um, some larger sockets. So what I really like about this is just how compartmentalized everything is. It keeps things really well organized. And now you can see, even though I just went into the box, I'm not having to now pull everything apart again. And I can just close it up and I'm good to go. The next unit here that just easily stacks on top like so, slide it in, locks, right? You can see that. And this here, this little button is how it slides back out. You can take that up. One thing I really liked about having these stackables is I can take parts out and even when I bring it to the truck, I can take it apart in units 
and make it a lot easier to carry. So even with my kids, I can say, can you grab this box and bring it in rather than trying to haul everything at once. And this unit here, obviously you can use it for whatever you want, but I've got some extra grips, a uh, clutch pack, some lube, things like that, whatever you want to organize in here. This came with three different separators. I used a larger one to dump some stuff in, uh, brushes, zip ties, uh, and a uh, pressure, uh, a pump for the shocks and for a tire. And then that loads up nice like so. And then lastly, um, I've got these two little units and they slide in like this. They slide in like that. And here you've got all those little uh, pieces that, you know, always get lost and it's always hard to navigate. So you've got all tire stuff here, tire gauge, washers, random items and parts, all your, um, your bolt kits there, brake pads. And you know, it's nice. You can just create your own organization depending on how you like things. Uh, but it does keep it very well organized with those smaller parts. And then this is probably my favorite and that leaves us with my favorite thing of all this is this ratchet set. This is a really nice ratchet set. Comes in like so. And now, just like my boxo kit, I've got everything there that I need. I know exactly where it is. It's got a place. Put it back and um, pack it up and good to go. So a couple thoughts on this since I've used it. I really like this modular type of uh, setup. And what I used, I forgot a stand and I had to um, adjust my son's attention on his bike. And I was actually able in a pinch to just throw this down like this and throw the bike up. And it was very sturdy and I was able to do it that way. Um, you might scuff it up a little bit, but these are very heavy duty. And despite you know throwing a bike on top of this, I still don't really see any damage. A little scuff there, but that's what it's there for. It's meant to be used and abused. And um, so some quick closing thoughts. I'm very happy with this purchase. I'm also very happy that I didn't buy the standard three pack and made it the way I wanted to. The three pack might work for you and what, what you're after. Um, and, uh, but this was nice to be able to pick and choose. The only, the only difficulty with that is the places like Home Depot usually don't sell all of these individually and you have to order it in. But I got this delivered right to my house in a matter of two days, it's the same price. So uh, it's actually more convenient to do it that way. Another thought I had is it would be nice to roll this and that is a benefit of getting the, the three pack unit is it does come with the big roller that is normally $170. Um, and I think in retrospect, that bottom unit of the roller, even though I still don't think I need that middle unit, the bottom roller could be very helpful because it's a larger one. And one thing I'm missing from this kit, um, this pack out, if I'm doing moto is where do I put my fluids, cleaners, things like that. So uh, I think in the future I will get the roller and use that for all the fluids. Um, I just wanna go take a look at the size and decide whether that's the right one or whether I actually wanna use just the wheel system underneath it and get a bit of a smaller unit for fluids. But overall, very happy with this. Um, I've already tested on the track and it works just as I expected it to. Everything was kept nice and tidy and I uh, highly recommend you configure your own. Thanks for watching and if you have some suggestions on what I can do or other things that might make this kit even better, uh, feel free to comment in the uh, box below and remember to subscribe.